Well, it's 8.30 this morning. And uh, you can see the moon up there. You can see it's really, really dark. And there's our Christmas tree reflecting in our window. It's pretty cold outside. I don't think I can even open open the door because it's uh, the slider because it's froze shut. But today is winter solstice and it is the shortest day of the year. Here we go, minus one, it's dropping, getting colder out. And I guess that's fitting for the first day of winter. Just enjoying a nice cold morning on the couch in a warm house, the shortest day of the year. Well, we're starting to get some, those are lights reflecting in the window, but we're starting to get some um, light. It looks like the sun might be above the horizon line. Uh, this time of year, we actually don't get uh, sun here at the house, so it never pops up above the mountains. We lose it for about mm, four weeks. So we'll start seeing it come up above the mountains there, but it's at a pretty low angle right now. You can still see the moon out. It's kind of pretty with just a little sliver. Eight weeks? Oh, that's, that's sad. Maybe six weeks, somewhere in the middle. 25th of January? Oh, we lose it for eight weeks. Sometime in November. And yeah, so we lose the sun behind the mountains for eight weeks. So we don't see the sun from our house. It's kind of a bummer, but you know, we make up for it in the summer. And uh, we end up having more daylight than everybody else in, in the lower 48, but uh, and we like it. Right here I have some vitamin D. You get that from the sun. Figure, shortest day of the year, probably need some vitamin D. Okay, this is like the maximum sun height right now. It's 1.30 today. And with um, the time zones, we're offset because Alaska is so much farther west we're only an hour off of West Coast time, but we're like two time zones away. So this would be like 1130 in the middle of a time zone. And when the sun hits it, its peak or, or um, hits its peak at noon, but it hits its peak at like around two o'clock. So, or 130, to, between 130 and two here. And so this is like the peak time of the sun right now. It's, like I said, it's about 130. And this is the max daylight we'll have today. And the sun won't even clear the mountains. It's pretty crazy. The birds are down here getting their food and chickadees are feasting on the bird food the kids put out for them. They're pretty happy.
It's 3.30 and the sun is starting to go down. You can see by the clouds, but uh, it's a pretty short day today. So winter solstice, pretty neat. All right, it is 4.30 and there's still a little bit of light in the sky, but that's gonna go pretty fast. So by a quarter to five, I'm guessing that all the light will be gone or pretty close to it. So anyways, it's heading down and we're going into the dark for the end of the night. Well, it's five o'clock and there's actually just a little bit of light in the sky, which is amazing to me. Um, it's just a little teeny bit, but um, this is the shortest day of the year and it got light, what, at about, hmm, it was about this light at about 9 a.m. this morning, 8, 8.45 maybe. And uh, so say nine to five. So you got eight hours of like actually a little bit of light coming off the sky to, to light. So about eight hours, maybe two hours of that is twilight. But um, it's not as bad as people make it out to be, at least not here in South Central Alaska. So, but we're really excited now because the days start getting longer from here on out. And that means that winter will be more fun as we get into January and February and then the best winter month of them all is March. So we're really excited for that and uh, we'll catch you later. Happy winter solstice.